It's Pastor Steve and I'm driving around today because I'm looking for a good place to pray. Something quiet, something nice, and and uh, I thought I'd bring you guys along and see if we can figure out maybe some place that we can go and, and have a good quiet time of prayer. All right, let's go check it out. Finding a quiet place to pray was was a lot harder than I thought it was. I'm, I, I've gotten one more. I got one more thought, one more idea, and I think I'm gonna find it here. And it's a perfect spot to to pray. Hold on, we'll get there. Well, guys, I looked and I looked for a good place to pray, and I couldn't find it uh, out there. So I came back to church, and, and here I have kind of a quiet space that I could certainly pray. But as I thought about it, I, you know, we're supposed to pray in all circumstances and all situations. So it really doesn't matter where we are. Maybe having a quiet place to pray is a really good place to hear the Lord. You know, that's what we read about in, in Daniel. Daniel and his friends, they would take and go up into a room by themselves and they would pray. And it actually got Daniel into trouble. And when he got thrown into the lion's den, you know, he kept on praying. Even though there was chaos around him, he prayed. And God sent an angel to close up the mouths of the lions great story. You read about that in Daniel chapter 6. You know, today I just hope and encourage that you guys can can pray in all circumstances, but also set aside maybe a quiet place, maybe in your room right before bedtime, or, or maybe in the morning when you first get up, a place that you can take time to be with God, just talk with Him, tell Him how things are going, and know that He loves you, and we love you here too. Would you guys pray with me right now? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for listening to me no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing. Help me to take time to just talk with you and be with you, to maybe find a quiet place where then I can hear you talking back to me. Help me share the good news of your son Jesus and his love for everyone in the whole world that I, that others could come to know you. Uh, we just pray this in Jesus' name and all God's people say Amen. Awesome, guys. Thanks. Hey, good luck in your prayer life. I'll be praying for you. And remember, you are loved.